Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for those 1980s hits that featured some truly inspired vocal harmonies. Number 10, Heaven, Warrant. The world of 1980s glam metal was chock full of artists who sought to combine visual style with musical substance. Ballad of Jane by L.A. Guns is a tender song from a band that was otherwise rough, ready, and sleazy. Elsewhere, Heaven was a huge hit for songwriter Janie Lane and his group Warrant. Lane's reputation as an underrated composer is thankfully starting to gain traction these days, and a closer listen to Heaven reveals that yes, there's plenty of opportunities for vocal melodies here on this emotive ballad. some memorable ones during the verses and pre-choruses, while the final refrain includes a choir of backing harmonies that makes heaven sound angelic AF. Number 9. Still Loving You – Scorpions The musical map of Germany's Scorpions has sojourned from progressive rock in the 1970s to their headlining arena rock status during the 80s. I'm Still Loving You sits smack dab in the middle of the group's most commercially successful period, an era of heavy metal anthems and tender ballads. Klaus Meine's vocals are a slow burn, subtly harmonizing during the first chorus, before taking the opportunity to explore some melodic space. <laughs> Specifically, the song's finale hammers home Mina's ability to connect with Scorpions' audience on an emotional level. It's fantastic stuff, and a reminder of this group's impressive versatility. Number 8. Love Song – Tesla This group from Sacramento, California has always been a musical cut above many of their contemporaries from the 1980s. Tesla's influences melded heavy metal, classic rock, and more into a potent sonic stew. Need proof? Check out Love Song, one of Tesla's best tunes and one that exemplified the band's guitar pyrotechnics and Jeff Keith's powerful vocals. Guitarists Frank Hannon and Tommy Skeok have their time to shine, but it's the Love Will Find A Way section that appears after their solos, which really tugs at the heartstrings. <laughs> Love Song didn't need to be both heavy and dramatically melodic, but at the end of the day, we're so thankful that it is. Number 7. Wanted Dead or Alive – Bon Jovi There are a number of ways vocal harmonies can be executed in the recording studio. Sometimes, a lead singer can record a separate track in order to achieve this aim. A cowboy. Other times, there's that magical moment when two members of a group work together in, well, harmony. John Bon Jovi and guitarist Richie Sambora take turns on lead vocals, but the joint singing that begins on the second chorus of Wanted Dead or Alive are something to behold. Meanwhile, the final verse and refrain go for broke, with both JBJ and Richie rocking them all, with harmony work that helped cement the group as certified 80s icons. Seen a million faces, and I rock them all. Number 6. Tears Are Falling – Kiss The 1970s may have been a halcyon period for rock gods Kiss, but don't sleep on the group's 80s output. This era saw guitarist and songwriter Paul Stanley taking lead vocals more often, and his more melodic approach allowed songs like Tears Are Falling to shine. Don't let the extravagant video clip fool you. The harmonized chorus to Tears Are Falling is a certified banger. Like 
It's dramatic, even slightly melancholic, and drenched in pristine 80s production. KISS even busted out Tears Are Falling during some shows on their farewell tour, proving that a great song is a great song, regardless of the era. Number 5. Love Bites, Def Leppard The production style of Mutt Lang was one that went hard in the paint. Def Leppard's Hysteria album is full of layered vocal tracks that allowed singer Joe Elliott tons of room to harmonize himself. When you wake up. He did so in wonderful fashion on Love Bites, a massively successful single that contains some palpably resonant emotion. Elliot already gives us goosebumps on the song's pre-chorus, but make sure to save some solid gold for that main refrain. This trend continues on the second verse, bulking up with more harmonies before the song's finale melds Elliot's voice with that killer emotive guitar melody to create pure metal magic. Number 4. Glory of Love, Peter Cetera the soaring tenor voice of Peter Cetera served the bass player well within the ranks of his former group Chicago. I'll be the hero you're of. Cetera's departure in 1985 allowed him to explore other projects, however, including this soundtrack cut from the smash 1986 film The Karate Kid Part 2. This second installment in the franchise benefited from Glory of Love, a polished adult contemporary tune that works as a clinic for Cetera's one-of-a-kind voice. The singer knows when to harmonize and when to hang back, punctuating the bridge and each chorus with melodic lines that bring us right back to the movie theater each and every time. Number 3. Alone, Heart The story of Alone is a long one. Its history dates all the way back to the 1983 debut from a group called I-10, before also being adapted for the TV show Dreams. That version was co-performed by John Stamos, believe it or not. It's Hart's take on Alone, however, that employs the vocal power of Ann Wilson. Her harmonies with guitarist and sister Nancy are just what Alone needs to push it from good to great. We can tell right from that first harmony This is amazing stuff. Alone was certainly a far cry from Hart's arena rock hits from the 1970s, but we'd argue that this was the group's best era full stop. Number 2. I Just Died in Your Arms, Cutting Crew The English group Cutting Crew probably knew that they had a killer vocal harmony waiting in the wings, but they made us wait for the chorus to deliver the goods. I Just Died in Your Arms opens with the chorus, but waits until the second go-round to hit us with the good stuff. Lead vocalist Nick Van Eed isn't done just yet, though, and adds phenomenal harmony for the song's bridge that really solidifies the deal. Just Died in Your Arms is one of the best pop tunes of the 1980s, with much of the credit owned to the arrangement of Ede's enchanting vocals. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Nothing's gonna stop us now. 1986 Starship, from the golden era of 80s film soundtracks. Home Sweet Home, Motley Crue, Prototypical Power Ballad Excellence. I'm on the way, home sweet home. 
Sister Christian, Night Ranger. Try listening to this song without thinking of Boogie Nights. Love that song. I want to know what love is. Foreigner. Arena rockers get sensitive. I want you to show me. Eternal Flame. The Bangles. Sparse arrangements and a brilliant chorus. Say my name. Sunshine's through the rain. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Angel Aerosmith Let's face it, we could have easily populated this list with dozens of great Aerosmith songs. Angel from 1986 just hits us in the feels from Note 1, as Aerosmith returns with a comeback effort that's slick and to the point. Baby, you're my This power ballad features a career highlight performance from frontman Steven Tyler, who kicks out fantastic harmonies on the song's chorus and second verse. It's the bridge where Angel truly shines, however, as Tyler sings his heart out for a section that makes us weep while we pump our collective fists. We get chills every time, man. You're the reason I get when I break down and cry. Are you an 80s kid? Do you wish you were? Let us know in the comments. Fire in my heart Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.